album, Destroyer of Worlds, me, friend of DM, periodically updates me about this group of players he's been herding through a story they're all like level 15 or so, homebrew 5th edition. They are murder hobos chaotic crazy but they have evolved into gentlemen murder hobos over the course of an 18 to 24 month long campaign and have cozied up to an old demented king and his court. Of sycophants and money launderers. In other words, sophisticated murder hobos. Players are wizard, barbarian, paladin, and thief. Cleric died months ago and barbarian turned his skull into a goblet and the cleric never came back. The king is in charge of a rich north kingdom which is totally corrupt but somehow hasn't imploded yet. They've been subjugating the kingdom down river to the south, where the river meets the sea. Bortoth killed all the nobles, moving all its wealth upstream to the mountains. King of the south city state is an old pervert. North king gives him and his sons whores, drugs, flatters them. They are more than happy to let all resources pass into the inland sea without a tariff. Totally cool with corrupt North King paying off lords for grains and cotton grown in fertile South. Most Southern peasants and Northern peasants treated like serf slaves. South city state peasants worship the cow deity. Passive. Fine with being milked. Sleeps in the fields. Eventually herded towards slaughter. ETC etc. Players work to ensure this happens by raiding mines. Putting down minor to lords as well as unionization. Killing nobles who attempt to start peasant uprising. ETC etc. One day, three in real life months ago, old pervert South King died. Natural causes. He was 80 and was doing too many drugs and enjoying too many prostitutes. He had 12 sons, all made a claim to the throne, and in the chaos that the players played a role in, the vizier assumes temporary command. Vizier is lawful good oh shit, and loyal follower of the god of geometric tiling. In three days vizier solidifies command, has retinue of well trained elite peasant guard. Implements 100% control of means of production, frees all serfs and slaves, and expels or hangs all other nobles and the surviving members of the royal family. Oh shit. The ones who flee make it up north where they spread word of the vizier's horrible god of many eyes who wants to cover the world in hexagons and make workers the most important members of society. Vizier changes the south city state official religion. Flag changes from gold land to single red hexagon on black background. Spies report that the vizier is letting all homeless people of low birth move into the spare rooms of the large sprawling castle. And he begins imposing a large but weirdly fair tax on all ships entering and leaving the southern port. All those who refuse to pay the tax which is based on the value of the cargo carried are expelled from the city or hanged, if they fight. But first, regardless, all scrolls on the ships are copied and the copies are placed in the free public library beneath the castle. North King is outraged. Court of corrupt nobles is sweating it. Without cheap resources from the south, corrupt plutocracy of the north might not survive. One week after Vizier takes over, North King sends army of mercenaries to take South Kingdom. Players act as lone wolves, mostly fight on the field of bones, taking out champions here or there. South Kingdom is mostly peasants, but there are well motivated and fight to the death, eventually mercenaries are repelled. South city state celebrates for 6 days and nights. Spies report that Vizier can see into the future when channeling his many-eyed god, and that the whole world will end in 40 days. He is trying to rapidly hurry rituals to evolve into his final form, an avatar of the many-eyed god. Barbarian and the group is happy. They have fought death cults before. Best thing about death cults is how they eventually kill themselves. Just wait, they all commit suicide. You move in, town is yours. The end. North King very pissed. Caught off corrupt north nobles and exiled corrupt south nobles want this vizier's head on a stick. Willing to pay big gold to make it happen. Wizard enthralled. Is inspired. Asks to go to the north king library to read up on something. They have a homebrew rule where they are allowed to utilize real life knowledge of chemistry or whatever as long as they spend a few days at least. Depending on the difficulty of the experiment in the library and then pass an int check. Wizard has this great idea about gate spells or portal spells or something and kinetic energy. Passes the int check. Tells the DM what he wants to do, and the DM suggests he reads Wikipedia to confirm his idea is correct, but waves the DM aside and does what he wants to do anyways. DM though, reads Wikipedia. Backstory The wizard is the kind of nerd who has mentioned, several times, to everyone, that he got a 4 on the AP Physics C Mechanics AP test. Even though he's like in his mid-30s now and far from being high school A. So, the wizard pitches this idea to the king. It will be expensive, but if we can get a stable portal chain established, we can cause a projectile to accelerate. 
due to the natural gravity that occurs on the realm, and crank up its velocity to the point that it essentially becomes a railgun grade projectile, dozens of times more powerful than most powerful trebuchet. We could aim it at the vizier's castle, destroying the castle, obliterating the castle, as a decapitation strike. Then we could rush in the North Kingdom's regular troops and take the South Kingdom without a fight. The wizard carves a gate portal onto the floor, so that it's stable, and then carves a gate portal onto a large tile, which is then hung from the ceiling of an evacuated hollow wizard tower, so that the thing he drops on the floor is teleported to the ceiling of the tower, and so on, in the hopes that the projectile will accelerate to an intense velocity. Hiccup 1 The North Kingdom is in the mountains but there's still a decent amount of air around so the object accelerates to terminal velocity a few hundred mph. After a few days of falling, they test the projectile by making a quick dimensional door or something and aiming it at a barn, and it knocks a hole in the barn roof, but that's it. This is when the wizard got an idea so bold it made my DM friend the happiest he's probably ever been in his life. Now, in this world was a screeing tablet. I forget how the players obtained it. I think they killed an obolith or something. They consulted the theater of sorcerers and determined that a 12 sorcerer group, who were all like LVL 12 or something, could use meter magic to summon a portal. And keep the portals going for 8 hours, so they'd have 3 8 hours shifts, with one sorcerer maintaining the drop portal, one maintaining the pickup portal, and another two working as backup in case anyone's attention was diverted. I don't play 5th edition, I'm more of a dungeon crawler RPG kind of dude, but the portal spell they wanted to use makes a portal from the prime material plane to some other plane. They created a drop portal in the prime material plane, 50 miles above the planet using the screeing ball, then they sent it to the void plane, and 1 centimeter above that portal in the void plane, they placed a second portal, which took the object back to the prime material plane, exactly 10 feet above the first portal, so the object could fall continuously without being slowed down by air resistance, and at the same time, hopefully. No weird shit from the void plane would re-enter the prime material plane that might fuck up the whole process. Earlier I mentioned the DM suggested to the wizard that he should reread Wikipedia, and the wizard brushed him off. The wizard decided that the best thing to drop on the South Kingdom castle was a cow. It's poetic justice, he said. The paladin was like yeah but there's no air 50 miles above the ground right? Won't the cow, freeze. So what, a frozen cow hitting a castle at like Mach 10 will still fuck up that castle. What the wizard forgot, or perhaps never knew, was that kinetic energy is 1 stroke 2 mass velocity velocity. To be on the safe side, instead of 5 days, I'm going to charge this cow in the double portal drop loop for 30 days. After 30 days of continuous falling, the cow will be traveling at 10% the speed of light. I think they determined the weight of the cow was 1000 kilograms, but at 10% the speed of light, a baseball would seriously fuck up a castle. A pebble would seriously fuck up a castle. So, they portal the cow, the cow dies instantly, but its flash frozen remains accelerate 50 miles above the realm, and a very expensive band of sorcerers ensure this happens. Within 48 hours it became clear they'd need a second group of void hunters to destroy all the lesser demons and weird entities being sucked into our plane above the north kingdom. And the barbarian and paladin and thief and the group have their hands full hunting down all of these awful creatures. Spy reports from the southern kingdom get weird. The vizier has begun molting. His body is growing larger, more bloated. He's shed his clothes and his skin. And now he's a large worm-like creature, with four wings, and huge compound eyes, latched onto the side of the primary tower of the southern castle. Without warning, 18 days into the portal ritual, the spies suddenly go dark. The wizard decides to guard the sorcerers, and sends the rest of the group in with a second host of sorcerers who are in charge of summoning the penultimate portal again. The wizard thinks this word means most ultimate, like extremely ultimate, but is totally wrong as per the usual. They will go in as deep cover, set up in a hostel somewhere, all they have to do is lay low, then when they receive a sign from the wizard, he will leave nothing to chance and they will summon the final portal 10 feet above the castle, by his rudimentary and essentially wrong calculations. That should not slow the cow projectile down by a measurable amount, and it will crash into the castle at max velocity. Somehow the group is able to avoid detection by the moth bee vizier. Partly due to the insane North King commanding that his entire regular army charge the South Kingdom four days before the cow bomb is due to drop. The North Army is able to breach the gates, it's doubtful they will win, but in the street by street melee, the cloaked South Sorcerers suddenly begin their channeling spell. 
and the vizier B. Moth wakes, and begins shattering everyone's eardrums and heads with this horrendous high-pitched wing beat. The paladin launches himself onto its back with two spears and tries staking him out. The rogue fires a number of poison crossbow bolts at him that are all buffeted away. They had the wisdom to split the sorcerers up into three hostile rooms in different parts of the city. A third of the city was destroyed by the fire of the invading armies and the sonic attacks. But somehow one group survives, and they channel the final portal, and the frozen cow bomb leaves the portal, being expelled at 10% the speed of light directly at the south castle. The wizard in the north, who is perhaps 100 miles away, is screeing this very moment. First, he sees brilliant light. The gamma ray burst incinerates every living thing, he's confused. The paladin, the rogue, the barbarian, are all turned into flashbulb shadows. The screeing tablet is white. From the window he sees a light brighter than the sun, on the horizon, and it's growing. The earth itself, the crust, is erupting towards space. The force of the impact is, I think if I recall correctly, 40 times greater than the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. Instantly the entire continent, the entire known world, bursts into flame. The South Kingdom is in outer space now. The shock causes every volcano on the planet to erupt. The dirt and rock catches fire. The expanding pressure waves destroys the South Kingdom, the river, the inland sea, the mountains, the North Kingdom, everything. And after all living things burn out, the dust that covers the globe will kill all life for thousands of years. Everyone passed their character sheets in, the wizard muttered, well, that got him. Yet ultimately, it was I who set these events into motion. With a single blow from my hammer, God Splitter. If you haven't already check out my Redbubble portfolio, you might just find something you like. Just stop! Just stop it! Stop! No! Just stop it! It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! Where the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services! <laughs>